Did you know that the most famous lighting technique used in Hollywood films and portrait photography was actually created about 400 years ago by a Dutch painter? I'm Maris from The A-Team, and today we're going to be going over the history of this lighting technique and how you can recreate it using just one light. During the 17th century, Baroque art ruled Europe and extravagance was all the rage. It's not hard to imagine the stereotypical grandiose imagery associated with the paintings from this era. But during this time period, there was a man named Rembrandt van Rijn, and he decided to take a 180 from all these lavishly vibrant art styles. Many scholars see him as the antithesis to the Baroque era, a 17th century rebel without a cause. Or was he? Though he was an incredibly successful artist during his teens and 20s, Rembrandt sadly faced many tragedies. His children died, and his wife Saskia died shortly after at the age of 29. After all these tragedies, Rembrandt's paintings took a dark turn. His artistic style became dark, low-key, gritty, perhaps a reflection of how his tragedies affected him. So, now that I've successfully ruined your day with this very, very sad story, let's get on to what this has to do with Hollywood films. Rembrandt went down in history as one of the greatest visual artists of all time. He was one of the very first masters of light with his paintings, and his signature technique is characterized by a little triangle right below his subject's eye. This is known as the Rembrandt Triangle, and pretty much every single movie poster has it, from Pirates of the Caribbean to The Godfather. In addition to movie posters, pretty much every famous celebrity has at least one portrait that's lit in the style of this famous Rembrandt technique. The lighting technique is used frequently in emotional scenes in movies, showing when a character is going through a very intense change. It's also been replicated millions, yes, millions of times in portraits. So to replicate this look, you really only need one light. Lift the light above your subject and angle it to one side of them by about 50 or 60 degrees until you see that famous triangle. If you want to replicate the look faithfully, use a fairly hard light source in a room with darker ambience, and use a lot of negative fill. Resist the urge to make this pretty. So there you have it, that's how one Dutch painter affected pretty much every movie and portrait ever. But now let's open this up to you. What is your favorite use of Rembrandt lighting? Was it a movie scene, a portrait, a poster? How did the lighting help tell a story? Leave a comment below and the best answer would win a new set of Aperture Barn Doors. I'm Nerds from the A-Team, subscribe to Aperture on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, The Works. We'll catch you guys next time.